Oh, okay. well, welcome back to the next part of our zombies experience. We are on the water side. About to kill some zombies. Next part, here we go. Still in need of a max ammo a bit. But I guess uh, we'll have to live with it. I don't know why we have this out. We're gonna pack punch this in about seven rounds. Not this. Um, our A K. You see what I did there? With the joking. Getting hit quite a lot here. I got trapped, unfortunately. Again. God. The zombies don't stop trapping. I might run out of ammo with this. Don't want to pack a punch it. I refuse to pack a punch this gun. I don't know why. I pack a punch every other weapon on one weapon I've gotten before. Never this. Is that all of them? Yep. Not even a single drop. Wow. This guy's late. You late to the party, sir? Oh, you're dead. Oh, there you go. Man. Aww. That's unfortunate. Alright, Shrieker Loser is in bound. I believe that um, the Spike Wars don't do a thing against him. Here he is. You know what? We'll kill him off right here. So I don't feel like dealing with him. All honestly, I know it's a bit of a waste of ammo, but it's kind of maybe it'll help us in the long run. You never know, right? It might have saved us a down. You don't even know. Always run with this gun out if you have it, because uh, it'll definitely save you. I'm turning into a zombie. Yep. The... All right. I haven't even seen a drop in a while from getting from this gun, at least. Spiky Love, I believe he's saying. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> oh. No head. He's headless. Again. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm bored. Not really now. Man. They don't die anymore with this. Time to pack a bunch of soon. For the AK-74 FU-2. That's what it's called. I didn't name it. Just, just for your FYI, I'm every time Ray Toppin talks, I kind of lip sync with him. It's kind of strange. There's our beautiful train. Would you guys consider this training? I mean, it's I wouldn't. I I honestly, I'm getting a bit hungry here. Uh, I honestly wouldn't consider this training. I consider it just like running around the entire map and then just kind of. Like, putting that pile in a room, and then just waiting for all of them to come in and shoot them all. I wouldn't consider it training, I don't know. I just wouldn't. There's our max ammo. We've got three things there. We've got double points, max ammo, and an insta-kill. It's pretty fortunate. Alright, uh, so we're no longer running low on ammo. Oh, good, 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 good. Yep, he's dead. Didn't even have to worry about him. Right, let's get out of here before it's killed. Oh, we're dead. 
get a nuke as well. Excuse me. Yes! The power! Uh, that was a very productive run. That was one of the best uh, roundabouts I ever did in a while. Got like five per drops right there. I think this game knows when I'm out of ammo or I'm gonna be out of ammo soon. It's like, you know what? We'll be nice to him today and we'll give him max ammo. Whoa! Whoa! Getting a bit worried there. Not me. We're pretty rich right now. <laughs> Got a lot of points. What gun is over here? Oh, it's the Bowie knife. The Bowie knife. Whatever you want to call it. I call it the David Bowie knife. Don't ask why. I have the exact same amount of ammo as if I pack a punch the thunder gun. That's how much ammo this thing has. I don't know. Do you guys think that this uh, wonder weapon is a bit overpowered? I mean, like, let me let me know. I mean, it is on. They did put this on the hardest zombies map they ever made. Honestly. This is definitely one of the hardest zombies maps out there. But I think we've found out the system of how to do good in this map. Okay. That was unfortunate. Um, I try and get past that guy. There's no way around him, really. He's, he's just going to trap you and just shoot him with it. If, if you're doing this without the baby maker and the low rounds, you should be able to kill him off pretty easily with a, a good gun. Just have the AK-74 in your back pocket at uh, all times and you'll be fine. Oh, we can do another little circle here. Perfect. Did you need to go down there? Oh, one more guy. Alright, here we go. Nice. Resurrection. Oh, can we, can we break 60,000 points on the nose? Not with double points. That would be impossible. Uh, we just need 10 more points. And then we can hit 60,000 on the nose. Let's throw a grenade. I don't know what that's gonna do. Oh, okay, good. Alright, let's repair this barrier. Here we go. 60,000! Yay! We got 60,000! Look at us! We've reached 40,000 on the news and 60,000 on the news. Let's see if we can do it with 80,000 as well. Hello! Can't go down there now, can we? You're so mean, God. Huh. Whoa! See that epic jump? I like jumped over every single zombie. That was cool. That was an epic jump. Whoa, that guy. Uh, that guy was. Just... Oh. Should we, what should we do with him? We couldn't blow him up right away. I thought we could. But it's too crowded in there. Don't want to risk anything. But I thought he'd blow up right away, but I guess he has to spawn in a little bit more. He shouldn't be in our way. He should be up by the geyser. We should be able to kill him off pretty quickly. 
I hear him for some reason. He sounds very close. A couple times when I have gotten the Napalm Zombie, he started booking it. Like, he just, like, started darting for me. It was freaking scary. It only happened to me, like, once, but I don't know. I don't know how to trigger it, but it was pretty scary. I'm just, like, trying to shoot him up a bit. I don't want to shoot him down, because it was, like, it was, like, the first time he ever spawned. Uh, for the game. And all of a sudden, he starts booking it. I'm like, whoa! Because <laughs> I don't want him to down me. Because <laughs> I don't think I had a jug yet. It was scary. It was, like, one of the first times I ever played this map. Probably, like, my first encounter with him as well. I will definitely never forget that. Okay, we can't go too close to him yet. I want to round these guys up a bit more so we can take them all out. I don't think that he got any of our zombies. Maybe we can run into the fire. There we go. Thanks, dude. Made my job a little bit easier. I believe this is the end of the round. Probably do another couple more rounds and then I'll split the parts again. I'm gonna be dolphin dive now. Whoa, you see that? That's pretty cool. Man. A lot of shots with this gun. Take him down. Let's rebuild this barrier over here for fun. We should be up here a bit longer now. 25, pretty good wave. Round number, I don't know why I call them waves. Don't judge. Wow, they spawned in quick. Man, oh man, there's a lot of them. There was, they really broke down those barriers quick. I guess there was a bunch of them and they just all started just like clawing at it. All right, here comes this guy over here. Nice. Nice. Nicey, nicey, nice. So I really didn't show you guys what happens if you really don't get the baby maker early on. Um like I did. I got first hit. Um, if you don't get it, like, if the box starts to move and stuff, and you really, if you like on, like, round 11, you still don't have it, start doing this, but just be very careful when you're doing it. Because if you do get traps, you can kill them with your gun pretty easily by round 11. But, like, if, if you do, it doesn't give you to by, like, round 19, unfortunately, you probably have to start the game over. It's gonna be going down a bunch. You really don't want to go down that much in this game until it's absolutely necessary. Alright, it's the kill is about to run out. I, um... I personally think that this map would be a good multiplayer map. Think think about that. Minus like the minecart and the waterfall and some other things. Like the sand or the quicksand or whatever it is over there. I think that this would make for a uh, very interesting multiplayer map. It's got, uh, minus the geysers as well. You don't want those in multiplayer. But it's like, imagine how many people would, like, camp in certain areas, like, back here. People would be camping for days. I don't know, it just seems more of, like, a multiplayer map to me than... Because it's, like, it's the perfect size for one, too. It's not too big or too small. I think it would either be called Labyrinth or Cave. Those would be my two. I mean, I... I'd call it jungle, but, you know, that kind of already exists. So I can't really do that. Oh, 
Oh, you, you got, you got the, the park machine on bloody. Go to hell. This thing looks like it's made of wood. Is this made of wood? I think it is. That doesn't seem very logical. I wonder what uh, this gun uses for power, like, you know, 115 or something like that. Because I know, like, almost every Wonder Weapon is using 115. I don't know if all of them do, though. I mean, really, think about it. I don't think they all do. We sneakish. Sneakishly bought some ammo for the AK. That's a word. If you run with these things out, you run super fast. Look at that. You run like a race car. But it's not the safest idea to have these out. So do it at your own risk. Sometimes I like to do it. You ride like a race car, especially with stamina. It's really useful in the water. Right here, because you move a little bit slower in the water. I don't know if anyone knows that. But, do it at your own risk. I ain't saying to do it. We got ourselves a max ammo. Alright. Didn't absolutely need it, but I guess... I'm not complaining, right? Max ammo's a max ammo. I just don't want to get it when I have full ammo. Alright, it's the end of the round. Um, we're gonna stop the part right here. See you guys on the next part.